Hi students, welcome back. We are going to have another very good session on seating arrangement today. We are going to discuss only one question in this session. Actually, this question has been sent by one of our regular students as a part of doubt clarification sessions. Generally, when our students send some questions to us, if the question is of good standard, above basic level, moderate or above moderate level, little advanced or very advanced level, we choose some of the questions and we keep that question in our doubt clarification sessions. So that it would be not only beneficial for the student who sent that one, but also for all the other students. And we choose some questions among them and I explain again on the YouTube so that the students who are following us on YouTube channel also, they are, they are also going to be benefited. Okay, now let's start the question. But before going for this one, students, let me tell you the difficulty of this question. The difficulty level, of course. It's only a moderate difficulty level question. But the question type, the pattern is good. Here they have given, uh, actually this question is from linear seating arrangement. Generally, they give 8, 10, 12 persons are seated on a straight line. Generally, they give that uh, all of them are facing at one side only, maybe north, south, east or west. But in this type of questions, they give that uh, some of them are facing one direction and some of them are facing the other direction. That is where you need to apply your logic. Here in this question, how they have given eight member team, A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H, they are given, are sitting uh, on a straight line, not in a straight line, on a straight line equidistant from each other, not necessarily in the same order. Normal instructions, total eight are there seated on a straight line. But here this is very important. Some of them are facing south while some of them are facing north. Nowadays, in many competitive exams, they are giving the questions like this. See students, in our regular classes, I told you in the foundation or basic classes, if you are able to solve the question with only one possibility that is well and good. Try to solve the question with only one possibility. Possibility means taking it one place. Don't go for the second possibility. But sometimes for many questions where difficulty level is high, you need to go for the second possibility as well. So going for the second possibility is not a wrong thing. Rather, it's a good one to save time in the examination. Because when second possibility is required, you go for the second possibility so that you can save time in the examination. Because imagining with only one possibility, taking one possibility and imagining the second possibility by taking many parameters at a time may lead you to go for the wrong solution also. For that reason, what you need to do, if it is required, go for the second possibility, but don't go beyond the second possibility. That's very, very important. Okay, right. Now, let me start the question here. Total eight persons are there. As it is students, take eight dots like this, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Simple. Okay. Uh, then after that, here you close it. Uh, then what they've given, you just go one by one. First, take the first information how they have given. Ah, some of them are facing south, some of them are facing north. After that, from this information, it's very, very important. Take the first data here. What they have given, A faces north. Out of eight persons, A is one among them. And they have clearly given that A faces north. Direct information, then only two people sit to the right side of A direct information you can place it directly on the chart a is facing north only two people on the right side of a means a's place is confirmed this is a facing north i keep like this okay and then after that what they have given b sits third to the left of a now you see b sits third to the left of a means if a is facing north that is right side this is left side first second third it should be given to b as simple as this one. Okay. Uh, then after that, what they have given? Only one person sits between B and F. Uh, now you see. They have given that uh, one person sits between B and F. Here, two things are important. Which direction B is looking at? And whether to the right side of B, F is seated or on the left side of B, F is seated. This is important for you. 
but nothing is given here simply they have given that only one person between b and f that means f can be on the right side of b or on the left side of b first of all i don't know where b is looking at whether it is north or south i don't know for that reason students what i suggest you you take parallelly the second arrangement as well suppose if you are able to do that one by imagining f at two places that's okay with one arrangement only you can uh, finish the question in our course i have uh, taught many questions where you need to confine only to the one possibility okay but for this question i am taking the second possibility same 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 the first information is same here a is facing not only two people to the right side of a and b should be here now this information only one person between b and f in this case students this is b i don't know whether b is facing north or south whatever it may be after one person i am keeping f here in one arrangement in the second arrangement i am going to keep f here both are equally possible places okay now, now go for the next information f sits to the immediate right side of e very clear information f sits to the immediate right side of e means e should be one of the neighbors of f okay here one side it is already occupied by a that means i need to keep e here only place is confirmed what about the direction of e here clearly f sits to the immediate right side of e now this is e f should be immediate right side of e means e must face north only then it is possible similarly in the second arrangement you say e should be one of the neighbors of f and clearly they have given f should be immediate right side of e in this case e must face south isn't it because the, the people or the person who is facing south always remember this is right side and this is left side. Isn't it? If it is north, it is right side and it is left side. Okay. For that reason, F is on the immediate right side of E. Now, you observe one thing students. In one possibility, E is facing north. In the other possibility, E is facing south. What can we conclude from this one? here between these two possibilities any one must be right or in rare cases both can be true also both possibilities may be possible for high level exams high difficulty level exams they may take the question in this way where both the arrangements may be possible based on this one they may fabricate the questions like if e is facing south which of the following is true or if E is facing north, which of the following is definitely false. In that way, they may frame the questions. Okay, now come back to the question here. Uh, how they have given next one? Only one person sits between E and H. Direct information. This is E. Only one person. That one person must be B between E and H. H has only one place. Now go to this arrangement here. Between E and H, only one person. H can be here. That's it. Then go for the next information. So far till now, no arrangement is uh, eliminated. Both are going in the parallel way. Next, you go for the next one. What is this? Both the immediate neighbors of B face the same direction. What do you mean by this one? Both the immediate neighbors of B face the same direction. Means if one direct, one neighbor is facing north, other neighbor must also face north. Don't get confused here. Both the immediate neighbors of E face the same direction. That means if this neighbor is facing north, he must also face north. That's the inner meaning. Okay. Now, in this arrangement also students here, B's neighbor E and H, E is facing south. In this case, H must also face south. I'm sorry. Here it should be south. Okay. Ah, now, H must be facing south. Both must be facing at the same direction. Okay. Ah, next, how they have given C. This is very important information. You see, I start with this one. And this is the game changer here. Okay. What they have given? C sits third to the left of F. Now you see C's place is depending upon that of F. C sits third to the left of F. 
f's place is already confirmed here. C sits third to the left of f. I don't know whether f is facing north or south. But whatever it may be, C's place should be third place with reference to f. In this case, f is here 1, 2, 3. I cannot keep C here. But if f is here 1, 2, 3, I can keep C here with the condition that C sits third to the left of f. In that case, f must be facing south. Because if f is facing south, only then c will be on the left side of f because f is facing south. Got the idea? Now, come to this uh, possibility here. f is at one of the extreme ends here. But the condition is that uh, c must be on the third position with reference to f. If that is the case, uh, f is here on this side. I am not saying this one as right side or left side because I don't know which direction f is looking at as far as this arrangement is concerned. So, f is here this side. I cannot keep c because this is the last place. Now, this is f 1, 2, 3. Third place is this one. But this is already occupied by h. That means, according to the flow of the information, I cannot fulfill the condition of C sits third to the right side of F in this arrangement. That is the reason why this possibility is ruled out. This is ruled out. I need not go with that one. Between two possibilities, successfully I have eliminated one. See students, if you practice the questions well, Within the stipulated time, even without the second possibility also you can do this one. But you need to keep many parameters in the mind simultaneously. Okay, that's up to you. Now go for the next next information here. Now the question is almost clear here. Okay, that's over. Then B faces the opposite direction as A. Now here A is facing north. That means B must face south. As simple as this one. Okay, next information D. G does not sit at any of the extreme ends of the line. What are the extreme ends of the lines? These two. Now, G cannot be here. Of course, it is occupied by C and G should not be here. When G is not here, only one place left out for G that is here because I need to place G on the chart, isn't it? Total two places are vacant. They have given that G is not on the extreme end. That means G must be here. When I keep G here, now you see A, B, C, D has not come. Uh, G, F, everybody is there except D. I am keeping D here. That's it. Now, the places are confirmed. And as far as the direction is concerned, H, B, E, F, A's direction is confirmed. I need to go for G, C and D's direction with the given information. Either direct information or the information which is hidden. When the hidden information is there, you need to combine two or three information together and try to get the hidden data out with reference to already arranged persons on the chart. Okay, now go for the next information here. What is that? D faces the same direction as E. Direct one, D faces the same direction as E. A simple question. Actually, it's a simple moderate level question. Not very difficult, uh, high difficulty level question. Go for the next one. Both G and C face the opposite direction of H. G and C face the opposite direction of H. H is facing north. It should be south. That's it. That's it. This is how exactly we need to go for the questions. Okay. Uh, see students already have kept this question in our regular course under doubt clarification sessions. The regular students can find that one and I recollect this question. Uh, I think similar question I have kept in our basic classes also foundation course as well. Thank you so much students and uh, many students are sending mails. Now many notifications are expected already RRB. Uh, regional Rural Bank notification is there. SSC CGL, of course, your preparation is going on. SSC CHSL notification was also there. So, if any student wants to join our regular, regular course, you please download our mobile app, Chakravarti Classroom. Chakravarti Classroom from the Play Store or if you want to download that one from the uh, uh, iPhones, for iPhones, that is uh, iStore also, you can download from that one as well. Thank you very much students and I meet you in the next session.